Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a quick hot take about Antifa and their continued antics. Uh, on the upside, we got uh, Facebook finally banning uh, the Antifa people. Uh, as well they should, because they, they ban QAnon. If you're going to ban QAnon, which really is harmless in my view, uh, you certainly can ban fat, uh, anti these anti-fascists, allegedly, who, who run around and, and causing all sorts of damage. Um, uh, this is the wrong article. Yeah, uh, but the big news is Antifa thug who brutally attacked innocent man finally turns himself in. This is from Shore News. Um, it's funny that they call him the Antifa thug. Uh, I thought Antifa didn't exist, but, uh, you know, finally it does exist. And, um, you know, this guy's going to jail. I told you all you guys are going to jail. I told you the FBI is on top of this. They got people inside. They are gathering the information. They're building cases and, uh, they want to time it for October. Of course. And it's going to just keep coming out. You're just going to see guys go to jail after jail after jail. Tim Pool's reporting about some guy who got caught with a Molotov cocktail. He's facing terrorism charges. Um, you know, it's just going to keep happening. Yeah, you know, the one thing Marxists are great at is they're great at making their numbers seem bigger than they are. So now they've got two riots going tonight. they got one in the suburbs and one in the city. Makes it seem like, oh my God, this is spreading. No, they're spreading themselves thinner. They're not accumulating recruits. Who would join up for this? Uh, they think they're recruiting people. And, you know, maybe they got one or two people. You know, people who were always supportive, who haven't come out yet. But uh, they think this is going to snowball into a revolution. It won't. It won't. It won't get into any kind of numbers worth a damn. They'll pick on certain people. And Antifa went through yet another neighborhood, a poor neighborhood in Portland, Oregon, shining lights into people's houses, screaming, wake up, wake up, come out of your house. Um, unfortunately, in Portland, it's going to get ugly. I hope if you're a Portland person, you're either thinking about leaving or you have enough home protection. One of these idiots kicks in your door. You're ready. Because when that happens, you need to be ready. Um you know, I know everybody in New Jersey, you know, th and this is New Jersey. We have very strict con gun control laws, pretty strict, not as strict as Chicago, but fairly, fairly strong. You got to go through a lot of hoops to get a gun in New Jersey. I have never heard so much talk about guns from people in New Jersey. They all want to get one. They all want to make sure they have one. They, 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 or they're on the waiting list. They can't wait to get one. They're going to shooting ranges. Everybody's armed to the teeth. And this is New Jersey. We haven't even had a major escalation here because Antifa is considered a terrorist organization. So you will go to jail for terrorism here. Yeah, you show up in Black Block in New Jersey. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. But again, I mean, there are more tempting targets across the river in uh, Philly and New York. So. Most of them are over there. The North Jersey guys go to New York and the South Jersey guys go to Philly. Um, but uh, things are finally starting to turn. And the feds are apparently back in the Portland area. Well, I shouldn't say they're back. They never left. But now they're they're going out again and they're picking people up. They're picking them up. Yeah, they're just... This is what the FBI does. They quietly gather evidence and then they go get people. Right now, in, in previous years, sometimes they weren't so quiet about it. Right? I mean, they definitely weren't quiet during the Bush years. They definitely weren't quiet in the years of uh, Clinton, when they when they had somebody. Um, but these are top level guys, you know. Uh, I I think a lot of times they uh, and I've said this before during the Bush era, they would gear their investigations to make sure they had people to trot out so they really ended up I, I won't say framing but they they would put forth these scenarios sting operations if you will towards people who were mentally incompetent or just so you know backward and stupid that they would fall right into it there are a lot of guys sitting in jail just because they're really really stupid they're just really really dumb 
uh, they thought maybe they could make some money or some headway in the in the world of crime or criminality by going along with some ridiculous plan, but they didn't understand how crime and criminality works or how you know how any of this works, and they just went along with it. And now they're in jail, and they're in jail for for the rest of their lives, essentially, <clears throat> because they're they're just dumb. They were just dumb. They were just dumb and unlucky. They got targeted by the FBI. Antifa, you guys are dumb, but you actually commit crimes. This is like, it's a boon for any FBI. It's a, it's a, it's like a, it's like a, a harvesting season that has gone completely out of control, and there's like a million tomatoes on every every plant because they, first off, they need people to arrest. They need it to justify their enormous budgets. You guys actually commit crimes like this one. Um, you, you're you you're scaring the hell out of people. And that's going to be the next wave. It's going to be like, we got to crack down on the domestic terrorism in the United States. There's so many. Look at them all. We're trotting them out. Here's another one. Oh, my God. And they will do this for decades to come. They will grind you down to nothing. And, you know, there'll still be guys left. There'll be guys who have been so radicalized or they're so criminalized, too. You can become criminalized in that your life's so effed up. <laughs> You've been in jail so many times and, you know, you can't get a job. You have no real skills. You've been doing criminal stuff for, like, you know, 20 years. You're going to suddenly, like, oh, I guess I'll go work at a gas station. Nah, they don't do that. Or they might do it for a while until finally they... They stumble upon yet another opportunity or one of their criminal buddies shows up and says, hey, I got a scheme. This time it's going to work. <laughs> this time we're going to get a communist revolution. Oh, all right. I'm in. I mean, that's the way these guys are. They're kind of like degenerate gamblers. They can't stop. Uh, they might stop for a time, but eh, eventually they get they get the itch to go back to their old ways because that's what all they kind of know after a while. That's what's going to happen to a lot of Antifa people. Not a lot, but like a few thousand. They just won't be able to stop. There's just nothing else to their lives other than jail or doing this kind of stupid stuff. And they'll just go back and forth in between until they either die or until they're too old to actually commit these crimes. Or until they spend, they do something so bad, they're in, in jail for the rest of their lives. So, you know, this guy, I mean, you know, he deserves jail in my view i mean uh, it's bad enough you attack somebody but man you attack a dude when he's down and then and then turn around and brag about it uh, yeah yeah this guy was first off he was helping a trans woman so this guy's a hero in my book uh, I, I mean he was helping a trans woman who has been robbed by a bunch of idiots on the street where where's the arrest on them by the way i want to see the arrest on those people too um this guy's a hero. He stopped his truck to help a trans woman. You know, trans people are a marginalized group. I, I can't believe I have to explain this to the progressives, but apparently I do. Um, you know, a, a lot of trans people, just like gay people back in the day, more so back in the day, not really now, but sometimes now, you know, they, they, they're gay or they're trans or they're whatever, or they're both, and they end up on the street because their families are like, get out. We don't want to deal with you. And, you know, the fact that anybody would help them, the fact that this guy, you know, he went out of his way to help this poor person who was being attacked and robbed on the street by a bunch of idiots, BLM, Antifa idiots, you know, he should be lauded as a hero. Where is the press to, 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 to interview him on Good Morning America and The View and say, Wow, man, you you really went out of your way to help this person. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, he doesn't get an interview. No. Instead, you know, uh, uh, this guy uh, who who hit him gets to go on uh, social media and, and beg for money. I don't think he had a GoFundMe page. I don't think so. I think the uh, uh, the, the 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 truck driver did though. You know it. it it's just sad. It's just sad that this stuff has to happen. And it doesn't. It doesn't have to happen. But um, this is the end result of Antifa and the BLM riots. This is where it's headed. 
it's headed towards violence and destruction. There'll be more of it. It won't be as much as you think, but there'll be more of it. And most of these guys will just end up in prison. Hardened criminals. Their lives destroyed. And all the, you know, this guy is like stunned. He's being arrested, right? I mean, his reaction was very telling. It's like, I can't believe it. I was just fighting a racist. I mean, he's that delusional that I think this guy who hel who's helping a trans woman, he's some kind of racist for doing that. Why is he some kind of racist for helping a trans woman? Anything, he's the opposite. Oh, but you just immediately assume because of these idiots that the media prop up, like, oh, he, he's got inherent whiteness. He's white, therefore he's racist. This is the end result of that. You've got people believing it. And look at where it leads them. Oh, but you don't care. You'll, you'll still get your book deals and you'll you'll sit around your parties and drink Chardonnay and say, well, you know, this is part of inherent whiteness. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a shame. It's just a tragedy. But that's what's going on with Antifa. It's just one big long tragedy and one big commercial to reelect Donald Trump.